Thank you so much to Card Market for sponsoring today's video. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name is Filipa and today I'm going to be playing Standard Best of One with Golgari Ghostbusters. But before I explain the deck, let me just ask you for a favor. Over 60% of you are not subscribed to the channel, so make sure you do so because that really helps me out. And if you do not, then that's very criminal. Speaking of crimes, that's all about what this deck wants to do. That's right, we want to be committing crimes with Free Strider Lookout. This card is going to ramp us so much. Whenever you commit a crime, look at the top five cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield tapped. So you can do that in your turn and then in your opponent's turn. We have a lot of way to commit instant speed crimes and that's great because we need this ramp to cast our late game cards. So we are playing two ghost vacuums. This deck is called Ghostbusters for a reason. I know everyone is playing that reanimator deck that I posted a couple of days ago. I'm sure you saw it on the ladder. That deck is a really difficult to deal with but ghost vacuums is going to help us. They want to get their Valgavot from the grave? Na na! Because we are going to exile it from their graveyard and that's a crime. Then for six men we're going to tap these, sacrifice it and put each creature card exiled with ghost vacuum on the battlefield under your control with a flying counter. It is a 1-1. One, one. So you can do this with Atraxa, with Valgavod, with all the cards that your opponent is playing. If they are not playing Reanimator this works pretty well as well because it's a nice way to commit crimes for free in their turn and then you're going to get all of this mana so that's also a nice way to get there. We are playing a bunch of removal because that's a way to commit crimes, that's a way to deal with mono red, you know the drill. Two duresses, four vine lashers, this is also a way to commit crimes. We are going to be putting a lot of lands into the battlefield with this card, with the Free Strider, so that's going to be a lot of activations for the Vine Lusher. We also have the Demolition Field and the Fable Passages that give us extra lands, so all of that is going to work in our favor to deal extra damage with the Vine Lusher. We have some card draw with the Mosswood Dread Knight, we have Liliana of the Veil, the Minus is also a crime, we have the Sentinel of the Nameless City, creating a map token. This, these maps are are going to be quite relevant because we do have fountain port so we want to be drawing cards from our tokens. We have Glissa, we have Meet Ud Massacre too, so this card is not as good as the original, we know that, we got that by now, it is so expensive. But since we are ramping, we might as well play one of it. It is, you can just play it for four mana, but then the most, the better. Whenever this enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices X creatures. Whenever a creature you control dies, you may pay three life. If you do, you're going to return that card under your control with a finality counter on it. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, they may pay three life. If they don't, return that card under your control with a finality counter on it. We have two Harvest of Miseries again committing crimes we have three virtue of persistence to get things back from our graveyard and our lands actually help us quite a lot as i said we're going to be ramping into our lands so restless cottage is going to do an amazing job same with fountain port and help us out getting things faster since we want to be activating our lands sun king citadel does help us do that at a discounted cost and then we also have demolition field which works really well to try to disrupt your opponent's lands that are become creatures as well that's it i'm really excited to see if we can cast some ghosts namely vlagavot 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 something like that uh but let's see if i can do it let's play some games okay so opponent goes first kind of like it if it's mono red, we have removal and life gain. The lookout can be very strong if we get like the Ghostbuster thing. Lighting up a candle while waiting for my opponent, wishing to not be mono red. Please do not be the mono red. Okay. Oh my god. My prayers did not work. What do you mean my prayers did not work? Okay, you have something. 
I just know it. Oh! I thought they had something to protect it. That's not how you play that. Not against Mono, not against Mono Black. Okay, great. Love that. Love that. That's also not how you play this creature usually. But hey, I am up for it, you know? That's okay. That is okay. Part of me wants to do this. You know what? I will. I'm still at 19. And I really want to start getting that mana. Might be a risky thing to do, but... No blocks. That's okay. That's not as okay, but okay. Still at 14, they have two cards. Because they are going to sacrifice to kill my lookout? Might be. Oh, they just go face. Okay. I'll gain life. That's that's completely fine. So let's get the land. Ooh, love that. And I'll attack, because why not? Never scared. Sure. Okay, so let's start also using the vacuum so that I get infinite mana. Ghostbusters. Let's get another Kutash. Ho ho! Say no more. Papau. Papau, papau. You know, you know, I catched you, Gigi. Okay. It's decent. I wish I was on the play. But that's okay. Let's go for the Dread Knight. That's okay. Let's do this one first, because I cannot really exile anything from their grave yet, so I cannot commit a crime. Again. bit rude. Okay, just don't do it again. My mana situation is kind of awkward. Okay, that's fine. It's actually really fine. That cannot attack or block alone. That's fine, I guess. I mean, they'll copy it, which is a bit annoying, but okay. Okay, so let's start using... And actually, I want to... Yeah, that's fine. Let's make them sack one of those. Uh, let's...
Let's get a Lenoir waist, I guess. Let's attack. Let's play the Vine Lashers. And I think that's it. That's fine. What else do you have to offer? I mean, I am here ramping up. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see what wins, card draw or ramp. I am not sure. What do they choose? Okay, that will go back to me. Oh, I didn't find one, that's fine. Okay, so definitely... Wanna do that. We'll play, pay for the ward. Aha! We found one, let's go. Yeah, more damage, more damage. And then we plus Lily. We have nothing to discard, but they do. Why not? Sure. That's scary. But it's not the end of the world. So they probably go, okay, I'll let it, I'll let it happen. Cause then I win, cause I start getting lands. Cause I'm committing crimes and then with the vine lashers. Okay, so let's do this, get that. Ooh, we got there, good. No blockers. And now... Choo! Choo! I didn't finish yet, I had more coming. Okay, opponent goes first, this is keepable. I wish I was on the play, but still decent. So let's keep it. Oh no, it's moderate. Okay, give me a cut down. Okay, a land is also not too bad. That's okay, actually. We take some damage, but it's not the end of the world. Okay. We gain some life, we lose some life, so that's fine. But Lily should help us, especially if they only play one creature. Okay, I mean, do I still go with Lily? I think no. Oh, they have removal, okay. Do they? Okay, I thought they did, it looked like they did. Mm hmm, that's a good one. Well, hopefully this deck doesn't play any shenanigans. It's weird, because it seems like an uh, aggressive deck, but then they are not playing anything. It's actually messing with my strategy, because I want to target their things. Weird. I know this is seems crazy, but I think it's worth it to get two lands. 
potentially. Okay, let's play a creature just in case they play a creature as well, because this seems kind of sus. I think they are trying to one turn kill me. Or maybe not, who knows? Certainly not me. So the good news is that we do get more lands. Woohoo! So do you show me your secrets or not? Okay. I don't mind that. I should have plused. I can gain life. That's okay. I have no idea what they're doing. No idea. Okay, I think we can keep this. It's a bit of a hopeful situation, but again, hopes I have. Not sure what they are doing. Usually this deck is a bit faster, so they must have something. They must be cooking. Oh, okay, I was not expecting that one. No, I was not. Okay, we have a lot of land, so let's get Riva Forest. We all have things we'd rather. Oh, Torch the Tower. That's a good card. It also deals Planeswalkers, so I'm quite surprised. I can meet Hook Massacre next, which is not great yet. But, yeah. So they're doing some sort of Gruul Ram situation. Which Gruul Ram can have a lot of scary things. But Lily does help me a bit. Yeah, that dies. That for sure dies. Okay, so first, I actually want to do the massacre thing for zero. Let's see if this works. Like, I think it does. And then I minus with Lily. They have to sack the terror. And now they have to pay three life. Yeah. And that's the deal now. Every card, like creature that I kill, that's going to. Ooh, horse. Horse is rough though. Because we know what this horse does. At least I can kill it. I'll be back with friends. Ooh, that's not bad, but not good yet. They probably want to saddle the horse, like or saddle something with the horse. Okay, let's see. If I can do that and then use the cut down on the Lord. Ooh, Gliss is also pretty good. So the good thing is that if they kill these, 
I can get it back. Oh no, I thought the cut down was enough, but no, it's not. It's not a 3-2, it's a 4-3. But okay, I can just try to block, and then I have Gliss as well, which is nice. And they have trouble. If they don't exile that, I can get it back, right? Oh, that's scary. That's scary. Oh no, that's bad. Okay, that's bad. Okay. I think I'm dead. Yeah, that's the right one to do. I know what's going to happen. Papau. 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 I accept my fate. But those cards are so good. Yeah, I mean, I'm at. I'm at dead. Me took her, my sucker did nothing for me except give me some trauma against Guru. I do not say no to going first with the rest in my hand. So let's see what our opponent is playing. Okay, it's not mono red, so that's nice. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not ideal. Say its name, okay. That's definitely an interesting card. Let's get our Lily going. I think this cut down is not going to be great. Oh, they go for the Lumra. Maybe they want to get it back somehow. Maybe I'll get a land from this. That's perfect. So this is return target online and permanent. Tweets on his hand, discard a card, look at the top three. Okay, sure. Fable Passage, that's a great card. I also have it. Do not touch my Lily, that's the only thing. Lily is out of the board. You make... Okay, so they... You make Asta in instant or sorcery. Okay, so they choose Whale of the Forgotten. So I guess they return Lumra, maybe? I don't know, they're just milling cards, not doing much yet. Okay. I don't know why I feel like my Lily is just going to outrace. Look at the top three cards of the library, put one of them into your hand. Okay. Ooh, I actually love that. Ho ho ho! I don't know, they're both good. We'd so, Terror of the Tide or Jace. Both great cards. Okay, so let's see what I can get with the Sentinel. By the way, my Lily can already ultimate next, which is kind of wild. So let's see what they decide to do with Jace. Emotions are distractions. Focus on the facts. Organic minds are easily cleared. I 
Okay, so this is one, this is two, one, one, two, two, two. They cannot get it all. Love Jace. Jace is great, but <laughs> you don't like me exiling your things, do you? I know. Gideon amazing. I mean, I agree. Gideon is pretty good. I go first, and you know what? I'm going to keep this as I should, because I have a ghost, a vacuum, and there's no way that I say no to a ghost vacuum. We have some removal, which is nice. I want to see this card in action. Like, it's a very interesting card. So I totally feel like it's worth checking how it performs. Oh. Okay. Okay, so if in case they have removal, let's go for the nameless city thing. Because at least I create a map. See, told ya. If they're playing black, you know they're about to remove your things, and we're not going to let it. I will exile my own creature. Because we prefer if it's creatures exiled here, to be honest. So let's go again with the Sentinel of Nameless City. Can I go for Restless Kutash here? And just pass. Yeah, I knew that they had something else. They're playing mono removal, but these Ghostbusters... What is that? Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, put a... Uh... Okay, I'm kind of confused. Let me read it again. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, put a counter on these. Then if there are seven or more counters on it, remove those counters, deals 20 damage. <gasps> okay... Oh, wow. Is this some combo? I hope not. I kind of want a Lily, but at the same time... Yeah, I want a Lily. Enough with the mysteries. I think we go for the Virtue. I'm just kind of scared on what they're doing, so... When I see cards that I don't know, I'm like, okay. So what is this card that they want two of? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, not going to lie. That's a carry. That is actually scary. At least it only counts as one spell, I guess. Okay. I don't even know. Let's exile that Avarice thing. I kind of want to plus Lily, but I'm kind of scared as well. So let's just pass. I don't know if they have creatures. Okay, so they have another one. So maybe they just want to copy spells until they win the game? I feel like they have something, but maybe it's just this. I'm 
tired of your Let's make them discard. Hmm. I don't know what they might have. At least I have the ghost vacuums that can do some work. It could be if I drew, the, drew it immediately, but since I don't, these just get stinks. And I don't think I want to top deck eventually do rest, to be honest. I don't know, I made some weird decisions this game, mainly because I don't know how to navigate, because they seem to be playing a combo deck, but I'm not sure what the combo is. Maybe they just have, like, removal, and they, like, remove both creatures, that might be it. Okay, shooter is rough, but okay. Surprised that they didn't use any removal spell yet. Fountain port is fine. Restless is good. That's good, but I'm going to get the land anyway, I guess. Hmm, maybe that's why they didn't attack. Maybe they are waiting to attack with everything. Like, to copy the spell several times and kill all my creatures. Yeah, that might be the case. Yeah, I think that's the case. Oh no, I wanted to get children with the Ghostbuster. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, so now they do it. Okay, that's fair. But this is an outlaw, so... Haha! <laughs> get wrecked. I mean, not get wrecked yet, but... That was pretty good. So I guess the combo is just that they want to remove things and then get these to seven somehow. I can draw a card with the fountain port. Sure. Oh yeah, I hope it's not the thing that I'm thinking, not breach the multiverse. Twenty target. Why didn't they give face? Isn't it six six six? I'm quite confused. It wasn't that little. I guess because I have the food, they didn't go for it. I don't know. Okay, they go for Liliana as well. I guess that that one does make sense. Kind of scared. I kind of want to eat the food now. Oh well. I think I cannot just leave scared all my life. What creatures do I have?
I mean, suddenly that thing is already at three. What a game. It's okay, I guess. is almost at seven I'm quite scared do they have avarice again I think they do but that way they draw many they lose how much life I don't know sure don't they die this way unless they choose me They could choose me. Okay, next turn I die if I don't win. You know what I mean? Oh, I was hoping that they didn't have more basics. I guess it does make sense that they do. So they're at seven. We have to try to kill them. I don't think with one mana they can do anything. Can't combo me! I know I played the game weird, but I was like, what is that? What are you doing? That said, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.